All right, so this is uh, my lesson on adverbs of frequency that I do did for my uh, grade seven uh, class. Uh, pretty frequent topic coming up in ESL classrooms, the adverbs of frequency. Um, now I kind of do in these videos, just kind of, I kind of do these videos to give myself a, a record of, of how the lesson, um, how the lesson was proctored. Uh, so if I have to refer back to it in the future, but I think it's also a great uh, tool for any anybody else out there who is uh, entering the ESL classroom uh, to sort of put their thoughts together on how they will approach their classes. And once again, I make all of these presentations myself, and they're quite time consuming, but they are, I would say, exceptional and, and quite um, above standards when it comes to the ESL classroom. Here, uh, one thing I do when I'm starting a new job is to kind of try and localize my first few lessons, my uh, presentations. Uh, here, I, seventh grade, I figured they're starting to develop an aesthetic, a sensibility to aesthetics. So I kind of feel like this is a good time to kind of, you know, indulge in that a little bit and give them uh, a little bit of sensibility that 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 can be an interesting. Uh, interesting set of tools for, for them as individuals. Here I'm using uh, some software programs, uh, program called Filter Forge, and these are all images I took from a local sort of, um, local sort of park, I guess, uh, a local mountain. And, you know, one of the frequent things that people do here is to climb the mountain uh, frequently. And, uh, so I kind of use that as my backdrop here. These are all images taken from that uh, spot, that rec recreational site. And I run them through the program Filter Forge, which is a really great program. Um, and this is a uh, setting called Angel Wash. And I really like what it does with the imagery here. It kind of does really interesting things. And you can change all the settings. And, and that's you know quite a time consuming process here, especially if you don't shrink your images or reduce their resolution size, your rendering can end up taking you all day for one image. And that's just one of the things I learned the hard way uh, was to reduce my resolution size because uh, you know, once your computer is locked into that rendering, it's just, it just becomes completely useless. But anyway, uh, figured that out and I kind of use it now in my presentation. So let's, let me just kind of run through this. Once again, this is kind of, run over the courses of two two weeks two weeks and let me see if I can get out of this and here I kind of break it up into positive and negative sort of approaches so we begin out and talk about what are adverbs of frequency what are we talking about here and they answer the question how often and I give them a chart here, I give them some of those adverbs, show them kind of what the frequency means in a graphic, uh, use your way to understand it. Uh, using the present simple tense here because we're talking routines usually when you're talking, you're using these adverbs. Uh, go into that a little bit. A couple of the rules, uh, they come after the verb be. Uh, but before any other verbs. So just kind of simple rules. And then I kind of get into the main activity for, you know, this week. Uh, I use the, some of the imagery from that mountain. I put some stones up here and I say, well, if this is the, lo the lowest and this is the top, what would, you know, this be called? And let's get into that slide. If this was the lowest, the least frequent, this was the most frequent, which one of these words would you use? What is this one here? All right, always. And then you just kind of go through. It's kind of recreating that graphic, just kind of using a metaphor of the mountain. Because up on top of the mountain, you find a stupa, a stone stupa. And I, you know, I'm always impressed by the, the, just the physical, uh, the phys physical feat of getting all those stones up there and stacking them. So uh, it's kind of a 
something I wanted to pay regards to here. And then we go into like exercises and here it's okay. Well, I might not give him a sentence. And then we say, okay. So if I take away the words, you know, what degree of frequency is this? You know, can you remember? And they start to remember that. And we just kind of we just kind of go through these exercises here, and you know we do a number of them once again. Here I like to tie it into the Jenga tower because it you know falls right into place. The reward system is is kind of referring back to what we're doing on the slides, so uh, it kind of works very good. And we go through a number of them. And until we get to the end of the class. Uh, these are usually like 50 minute classes. And the next week I followed up with this here as kind of a review. Uh, this, is a, this is a quiz I found from ESL Library, a great sort of source of ESL materials. Um, it's a sus subscription based service, so uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody out there. Um, I like the, I like, I like the, uh, I like what they have to offer. I, li I like what the lesson plans and everything they have to offer, flashcards and, and discussions and, and quite interesting grammar practice and things like that. So I take one of their quizzes on adverbs of frequency. I use the PDF. I cut and paste. And uh, hey guys, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of doing something right now. All right, <laughs> We're gals. All right. And we just kind of use it as, as a review. And here I know it kind of re introduces some new ones, but I, I kind of feel that's okay. They should kind of be familiarizing themselves with more than just the ones that I've offered. And then we talk about uh, the negative. And then I talk about the negative. Uh, you know, using do not, does not, um, and where the placement is. Seldom and never and placement and this kind of I also kind of try and use that as an emphasis that these, that the placement of the adverbs is going to be important in this lesson and then we move on to our activity where is it here we move on to our activity that's not the activity this activity here. Once again, it's tied into that reward system, the Jenga Tower. I give them a sentence here, the word, the word, uh, the words, and their job is to come up with a sentence, a correct sentence from it. So it just kind of goes. And we just kind of, there's a multiple, uh, there's multiple slides uh, of this activity. And so that kind of takes up the rest of the, the class uh, based, the second class. And part of my, my, pro, my uh, program is uh, that I will always review. I always try, every class I will try and review uh, the material we did before. So even though we're starting a new, a new um, lesson the following week, I will do some kind of review. And what I've done recently is to create quizzes, uh, written, written reviews. Uh, to hand out as that review. Uh, very important to get them to do writing independently. Uh, so I, um, and I'll show you examples of those uh, in some of these videos as we go along. But this is, uh, this is my presentation for grade seven on adverbs of frequency. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps in some way. And uh, I know it helps me in some way because I forget a lot of times how to go through these slides. and. Um, and uh, I need them uh, as reference for myself also. So I very can help you. All right, take it easy. We'll, we'll be doing more of these as time goes along. Got a lot of material to cover.